Hey Steve, it's Thursday, and this is the penultimate live the word response. Crazy. Anyway, here we go. Question one, am I thirsting for God? So bad. More than anything do I feel like I'm desperately thirsty for the Lord. I can't say that I'm doing all that much to have my thirst satisfied, but I know for sure that I'm dying over here. I've been trying so hard to find opportunities to sit with the Lord and to drink in his presence. But man, that is so hard. So I guess in my heart of hearts, I know that I'm thirsty, but when it really comes to my day-to-day -day actions, it's probably hard to see that. I want to be with him and I want to focus on him. Rather, I want to want to be with him. I'm a big believer that our habits form our desires, but if I were to really look at my habits, I'm not sure that they reflect a heart that's dead set on finding Christ. I mourn this and I keep trying to make adjustments, hoping that I can find new habits that find my way to the Lord. Question two, am I trying to satisfy my thirst with other things? Always. Usually it's my own strength or entertainment. Either I'm trying really hard to be good at everything that I do, or I'm distracting myself from the stressful things in life. But neither of these things really offers any lasting sense of peace. For both of these things, peace is dependent on external factors. So even as I think about it now, maybe I'm realizing that I'm not so much trying to fill my thirst with these things, as much as I'm trying to avoid the reality that I'm thirsty at all. I mean, really being thirsty is uncomfortable, and I don't wanna feel that, so I turn to other things to distract myself. It's kind of like how when you were a kid, when you were hungry at the playground, but you weren't thinking about it because you were just too busy playing, there's no time to feel hungry, it's just time to play. But when you go down that slide for the last time or you finally walk away from the park after a long day, you start to feel hungry. And I think that might be how it is for me because I do feel thirsty when I slow things down, but it sucks. So I try to avoid it for as long as possible. Question three, how can I be a prophetic voice in my family? This question makes me think of that quotation from Saint Seraphim of Sarov. Save yourself and a thousand around you will be saved. After all, I think it's hard to speak the word of God without first being united to the word of God. I'm realizing that if I want to be able to speak truth, then I need to be near truth himself. I need to hear the truth from the truth. If I'm going to be a prophetic voice in my own home, then I first need to tune in to the voice of the Lord. But again, I so frequently am distracted, so blown around by the winds of life that I'm not even sure which side is up, and I'm not sure which way is the truth. And so I frequently feel lost turned around. But this whole Live the Word project has been such a helpful jumpstart to my heart, trying to reorient me toward the Lord, trying to tune my compass toward the true north of his love. So if I'm going to be prophetic, I need to draw near to Christ. The only way that I can share the truth of God's love is by drinking it in fully myself. All right, Steve, that's all I got. I'll see you for the last time on Monday.